All right, what's up, guys? Uh, today I wanted to go over uh, this Nook color that I bought. Um, I bought it for about two hundred dollars, and I uh, rooted it. And you can go online and find out what the deal with that is. Um, but pretty much, I wanted to make a video showing what it looked like. This is, uh, I believe, it's called Cyanogen or CM7 Cyanogen Seven. And I put this on here. Pretty much all you do is you uh, put the software on a on a little SD card, like in the back of here, and you uh, little SD card right there. I just got a little ten dollar one. It's, uh, let me see if I can get the focus right on here. So here's the little SD card. Uh, I use a class four, and it worked for me. So uh, I mean that should work for this this uh, root or whatever you want to call them hack. I don't know. I don't really know what they're called, but that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do to uh, to make your Nook Color run um, run Android. Uh, you can see the Nook button is the home button. Accelerometer works. Everything pretty much works. Uh, the only problem, and this is just with the uh, tablet itself, I, it's it's been a pretty nice little device for uh, you know what I paid for it and compared to other ones in the price range uh, the only problem is oh, like I was going to say the uh, the speaker on the back that's where I was getting to the speaker you cannot hear anything and luckily there is a 3 millimeter or 3.5 millimeter <coughs> headphone jack and it works uh, works really well compared to the uh, the speaker. Uh, one other issue I had with the no color, and this is pretty much why I rooted it, I probably wouldn't have done it otherwise. Um, Wi-Fi, like it won't connect to uh, some routers. I don't know what's up with that. I had every, every other device in my house connect to the Wi-Fi and this thing wouldn't. I don't know why. I'm guessing it's a problem with the uh, wireless uh, whatever you call it uh, the Wi-Fi device on here and it cannot connect to some some uh, networks or some routers the way some routers are set up I don't know I tried I tried a lot of things trying to switch it it's a pretty prevalent problem on the internet I can see because I found a bunch of threads for it um, but I ended up buying another router I needed one anyway because it was it was pretty old uh, but pretty much, uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. As you can see, everything works just like a, a phone or a tablet would on here. It works really well. It's it's actually pretty fast too, which I was actually kind of surprised. It's a lot faster. It's a lot faster than. Um, <clears throat> Than the, the original software that's that comes on the Nook Color, and you can see things load a lot quicker on here. And it's pretty much a tablet. I mean, you got the Android Market, uh, but getting getting it rooted that was kind of hard. That wasn't the easiest thing. And you can see I got uh, anti anti glare. I got an anti-glare uh, screen protector on here too. It's a nice little device. It's really nice. It's kind of heavy for such a small device, but it really is is uh, better than using a phone because you get a lot more uh, uh, screen to look at. Probably about three, maybe almost four times. Now I'm, I'm guessing a little over three times uh, the screen screen size as uh, my iPhone. So. 
It's uh, and let me go over pinch to zoom. You can see it works. It works really well. I'm really surprised at how well this uh, this uh, hack is. It's uh, pretty crazy. Um, the battery life on here is, is actually pretty pretty good. It has pretty good battery life. Uh, you could probably use it for a whole day. Uh, videos. The only pro one problem is videos. Uh, you can see most websites actually work pretty well. I've only had like I've only gone, come across one uh, website that uh, that didn't load. It like just would not load. Uh, well, it would load, but then if I wanted to get to something to look at something else, uh, it it wouldn't load it. It would just I can't remember what happened, but it wasn't wasn't a usable website. Uh, so I had to do the mobile version of that website. As you can see, this is desktop. Uh, a lot of desktop stuff actually works really well on the Note Color rooted with this uh, hack. And you can, uh, let me see, let me go to a couple websites just to, sh just to prove it, <clears throat> just to show you. To it, I don't know what's up. Sometimes it does that. It won't. It won't go to a website that you put in. I have no idea why. Hmm. Let me try something else. Probably edit that out. So you can also see that uh, I've put widgets on here. You can put widgets, and you can um, you can move them around. You can you know pretty much customize it however you want. It's just like a, a regular tablet would be. <clears throat> um, your apps right there. You can click on this, get a view of all your apps. Uh, a lot of stuff to choose from. And what else? You have the um, the live wallpapers, which I really like. I think it uh, makes it a little more interesting. That's one thing I like about an Android tablet. Uh, this one, this one's pretty cool. There's a bunch of them. You can just buy a bunch. There's a ton of them out there. You can get. As you can see, it works. This it's, it's really is a, a, a fast tablet for the price. I mean, in my opinion, this is like the best uh, tablet you could buy for your money. Uh, Money-wise, if you you know don't want to spend five hundred dollars or four hundred, four hundred to five hundred dollars is what you're gonna have to pay for a low-end uh, or, or a base tablet, a real good one. And you know, if you don't have that kind of money, this is a, a good alternative. But you will get a lot of things that you won't get uh, on the other ones. You'll get cameras, front-facing camera and, and rear-facing camera. You don't get that here. And the speaker, like I was talking about earlier, the speaker is not, not the best. Uh, you can put up to a 32 gigabyte SD card, which is nice. Um, and, you know, the screen's really good. 